Okay, good morning and thanks for joining my video, how to make a really lovely cup of coffee. Coffee is one of my passions. When I'm off and not at work, I enjoy a really good cup of coffee on a Sunday morning. So, I'm going to show you how to make a really nice cup of coffee. What we have here, nice coffee machine, nice coffee bean grinder. I like to use freshly ground coffee beans because the flavour is just so much finer from a freshly ground coffee bean. So, we're going to take about 8 grams of coffee beans here. This little spoon here gives us about 8 grams, or thereabouts. And that's perfect for a lovely shot of espresso coffee. So we'll pop this down here. Okay, so we'll grind these beans. Put this up. So there we have eight grams of beautifully freshly ground coffee beans. Can you just smell it? No? Okay. We have our coffee bean or coffee ground holder already warming in the machine there because you want the warmth in this machine to help everything bring out the full flavor of the coffee. So we'll just gently pop this coffee in here Okay. And one of the important things I find when I'm making a cup of coffee is to actually compress these coffee grounds tightly into the holder here. Okay, so we have our little tamper here. I'm going to press this down. What you might notice is I'm using a double espresso holder rather than a single espresso holder. Now, we press it down really firmly and then we twist that tamper and that's just polishing the top of these coffee grounds so that that hot water has to be really pressed hard through the coffee grounds before it appears into the cup. Okay, so that's our coffee dispenser ready. Hook it up here. Now, we have to use some milk. We're going to froth some milk. I use semi-skimmed milk. Organic does froth very well, but I have some non-organic milk here, semi-skimmed, and you can see I have my little jug with the temperature gauge on there. So we'll pop a drop of milk in here. Okay, not too much, but just a good portion there for a cafe laddie. And the key with the milk is actually allowing it two intervals to froth nicely. I take the first interval to about 40 degrees, then I let it sit for a few moments whilst we're getting the coffee through into the cup. And then we go back to the milk and he's between 65 and 70 degrees and that's perfect for a really lovely cappuccino or latte. So, we'll go with the first frothing here of the milk. It's a bit of a noisy process at first, but I like to get the nozzle of the steamer just under the surface of the milk and no more. And what happens is you get sort of um, comfortable with the, the sound that's coming out of the milk. And if you can see on that temperature gauge says temperature is beginning to rise now just hitting about 30 degrees now and then when it gets to about 40 we'll just switch off the steam and we'll let that sit there just a few minutes before we're getting the coffee over now there and that's just about to hit 40 so we'll switch the steam off there okay there can you see that milk there that's just beginning to come on nicely so we'll leave that sitting there and now we'll let the coffee run we're looking for a nice crema on the top of the coffee here. That's created by the oil from the coffee beans. That should do me about there. Now we'll have a wee look at this when it comes out. There you go. Can you see on the top of that? See how that nice crema there? Delicious. Okay. You can see from the side of the glass there. That's pretty good. Lovely. So we'll leave that there, and we're going to do, for, do our second interval of milk frothing here. Here we go. Now this time we're going to take the temperature of the milk up to about 65 to 70 degrees, and then that's about perfect. Can you see that temperature gauge just there, rising gradually? I don't switch the steam on too hard, I leave it quite sort of gentle, so it's a gradual process rather than uh, assaulting the milk and, and having the temperature rise too quickly. But I just have the tip of that nozzle under the milk and no more. Any more than that, we seem to start getting large bubbles. And you want really, really fine bubbles with this froth. So 
temperature there, that's just rising, that's just gone beyond 60, a little bit more, and then we'll be up to about the temperature we'll have to roof. There, 65. I think we can start to cut off this milk here now. There we go. And that is a really beautifully frothed jug of milk there. Okay, so we'll take our coffee and really nice and gently we'll pour that froth milk down the side of the cup there. Okay. That. That's what we like. Now, just to be really decadent with our coffee, we'll sprinkle just a little bit of chocolate on the top. And that is how I like to start my Sunday morning. Cheers. <laughs>